Katie, and welcome to Ask Katie 2013. When filming Longmire, not Longmire, Longmire, in some episodes such as Cancer, you appear to be at high altitude when doing some outdoor scenes. Is the out of breath look acting or for real? From JJ. Um, <laughs> it's, we're really high. Uh, we shoot in Santa Fe. Um, but we actually shoot a lot of the scenes, a lot of our, the episodes actually quite a ways away from Santa Fe in the surrounding areas. And we could be anywhere from 7,000 to just over 10,000 feet elevation. So if you have a lot of dialogue and you're moving around, you definitely um, get out of breath. Um, and as the day goes on, you'll get more used to it, but you have to match the way that you were in the beginning of the day. So I would say that half of it's real and half of it's acting. Um, but there's a lot of scenes where um, one person will be out of breath and then the other people won't because that person, like, you know, uh, drank too much the day before or something. Like, it, it's so many different circumstances kind of go into, like, how you're handling the altitude that day, including, like, how much water you've had to drink and, and you know, um, like, Gatorade and things like that. So, um it's, it's kind of a little bit of both, but there's, in Cancer, I believe, uh, I believe that scene was a little bit of both. I think Cancer was the episode with the pot growing. Um, so there was, there's definitely a bit of both, I guess. You could, I could only say that 10 times. There's a little bit of both, JJ. A little bit of both. A little bit of both. Okay. Uh, this is from Michael W. Um, I first discovered your amazing acting chops, thank you, um, in your role as Starbuck on the rebooted Battlestar Galactica, but what really blew my mind over was discovering you were the voice behind Robot Chicken, Strawberry Shortcake parody, Bitch Puddin'. Can we hold out any hope that you will revisit that? Um, will, will we ever get new tastes of the Bitch Puddin' in the near future? How about a reunion movie with Black Cherry and Fudge Turnover Blam? Okay. <laughs> um, I love Bitch Puddin'. Um, uh, Seth Green is a friend of mine. I love him to death. And uh, he kind of proposed this character to me. And, and I was so scared that I wouldn't be able to do it. And I don't even know what I based her off of. I just went in and started like, it was like my version of what Shaft would talk like if it was, you know, a little nine-year-old girl named kind of Strawberry Shortcake. Um, was kind of what I was going for. And, um, and that's just the way that it turned out. So I'm glad everyone really loved it. And I'll go back anytime that they want me over there. So, um, and you know, Seth knows that. So I don't know, it just hasn't come up, but everyone keeps saying that she should have her own spinoff show. So, you know, you never know. Maybe you'll get a taste of the bitch pudding like every week or something on Adult Swim. <laughs> um, it's a good show. I like it very much. So thank you. I love, I love the fact, Michael, that you were like, Battlestar Galactica was really good, but your acting in <laughs> Robot Chicken was awesome. <laughs>